Welcome to this video for Expense Tracker. This is one of a series of videos that explores the different features found in Expense Tracker. This uh, particular video will be a relatively short video on how to add a, um, a mileage expense to Expense Tracker. So let's get started. From the log view screen, which is being currently displayed now, tap on a log to open it. Currently we have one expense in this test log, but we're going to create a new, a, a new mileage expense, so let's tap new. And we would set the date and then set the amount. And let's tap on the amount. The amount obviously is not uh, something we want to enter for a mileage expense, so we click on the mileage button at the very top and the screen will flip to allow us to enter a start stop odometer. Let's do that. The allowance below here is the the amount of money we are reimbursed per um, per mile. Um, this is different based on the different categories, at least in the United States, uh, the IRS has set forth uh, three different categories, um, either business, medical, or charity. Um, we, we provide an, a tab for an other as well. But um, if we tap these tabs, the different uh, amount per mile is, is changed. But we're going to stick with business. So we've got 1200 1400 and uh, we're going to go ahead and save this. Uh, and the category has already set, been set to mileage for us. And we're going to skip some of the different features here. We can enter a description if you want it or a merchant, but uh, we can just hit save and we're done. So here is our mileage expense. It shows the 200 miles here. And um, uh, the $110 that we've um, that we've uh, attributed to the 200 miles. That being, if we tap on it again, tap on here, the 55 cents per mile times the 200 miles. That's how it's computed. Now if we look at here, we can't click on the total miles field and enter in the total miles if we'd like. So if we weren't tracking by start and stop odometer, we could enter total miles. We'll just cancel this. Now let's go ahead and create another mileage expense and see see something unique that Expense Tracker does for you. To type new. Now I'm going to enter in I'm going to enter in that field that allows us to enter in our start and stop odometer in a different way just to make this interesting. I'm going to change the category to mileage which happens to appear first on the list. That's by design because mileage is a special category. You cannot delete it. You can't edit it. If you tap on it and then tap the amount field you'll see that the screen now comes up already by default in the mileage for a mileage screen. But look here, if we look more closely, the start and stop odometer is selected, but the 1400 miles is pre-filled. Now that is the stop of our last entry. So we can go ahead and enter in, say, 1700, hit save, it's, and, and as you see it computes the amount, hit save again, and there's our other uh, mileage uh, expense. I want to show one other thing which is quite interesting. If we do one more ex mileage, say here, we make it mileage, but we don't enter, we don't enter a stop. We just enter, say, say we know we're traveling, we're starting at 1700, we don't know our stop yet. So we go ahead and we, we're about to drive away, we enter in our, our start mileage which is 1700 and hit save, hit save again, and look here, the field is yellow. That indicates that we have not completed it. So once we end our drive, we tap on it, enter in our mount, our, our ending mount, say 1950. Let's make this interesting. Hit save. Hit save again. And there is our mileage for uh, and, our, and the amount. Now, if, if those familiar with expense tracker knows that knows that they're familiar know that these. Uh, buttons are sort buttons. So if we sort by a category and 
interestingly, it shows our fuel, which we've only had one expense for, and our mileage, which we have three. It shows the individual mileages and also the total for this particular log. And that, in a nutshell, is uh, uh, mileage, tracking mileage for uh, an expense tracker. Now, I urge you to take a look at the other video, which will, should be available soon or might be already available, which is on preferences. Because there are preferences that you can set associated with tracking mileage inside of Expense Tracker, which is very powerful and also very useful. If you have any questions or comments, please email us at info at silverwaresoftware.com or if you prefer phone, our phone is 978-579-9696. Thanks for listening.